Today I have a pretty unique fire alarm pulse station here. It is a Mirtone 73204 dual action pulse station. This is one of the only pulse stations that I know of that you can reset without any hand tools. And I had this installed in the garage a couple system tests back and I'd love to show you more of it today. Mirtone was a Canadian company that was founded in the 1960s and they initially focused on manufacturing apartment intercom systems. However, they quickly branched out to include fire alarm systems and they became one of Canada's largest fire alarm companies and this pole station was created and heavily installed in Canada in the 1970s and the 1980s. In 1988, Mirtone was bought out by General Signal Corporation, which at the time, Edwards also was owned by General Signal Corporation. So what they decided to do is kind of branch both the companies together and sell fire alarms in the United States and Canada. So that's kind of how the connection between Mirtone and Edwards started. Now, fun fact, Tony Falbo, who at one time was the president of Mirtone, left and went on to be the founder of Mircom, which is a different company that also does fire alarm stuff. So it's kind of interesting how a lot of these companies all kind of relate to each other. So the pull station says, press in, pull down, fire. And then you got two arrows. And then down here, you have the glass brake rod holder. And then this piece right here, that is the glass breaker. This goes down and it will break the glass if there is glass in it when you pull it down. So I'll go ahead and do it. It's really more of a push down, it's not really a pull. But here we go, you press in, and then you pull down, just like that. And then you know it's activated because there's a big hole right here in the front. Now here's what the back looks like. As you can see, it's just terminals, and then you have the model sticker, which it says model 73204, and then it gives the switch rating, which is 0.5 amps, 32 volts DC. So let's go ahead and reset the pull station and I'll show you a little bit more of the inside. So to reset it, like I said, you don't need any tools or anything. You just take your hands and you kind of squeeze the sides here. Go ahead and do that. There we go. If you squeeze and kind of pull out, then this front cover will come off. On the bottom side of the front cover, there is a UL listed sticker. So it is UL 530X listed as a non-coded fire alarm box. And then here's what the other side of the cover looks like. And here's what the inside of it looks like. It's pretty straightforward. There's some text here. It's not really on a sticker, so you can just pull it right out. And it basically tells you how to reset it. It says to open cover, press tabs, squeeze cover sides. To test, pull slide down. To reset, push slide up. I'll go ahead and put that back. So right now it's pulled. And to reset, you just push the slide back up like that. When you pull it down, it basically connects two pieces of metal right in there, which activates the switch. Just like that. And then the terminals are right on the other side right there. I've gone ahead and wired up the pull station into the Mircom fire alarm. So let's go ahead and pull it and set it off in three, two, one. There it is. Go ahead and silence it just by taking the batteries out of the equation. And then let's go ahead and reset the pull station. I honestly think it is a little bit more difficult to reset when it's not on a wall. There we go. We'll go ahead and slide the slide back up. And then we'll put the cover back on. There we go, pull station is now reset. Well, thank you for watching this video on the Mirtone 73204 fire alarm pull station. If you found any of this interesting, definitely check out some of the other videos I have on my YouTube channel. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and please have a great day.